Rider, bus to your knee, and I'll bleed it. Even off a parking bitch, I'm feeling like a demon, bitch. I came in, drifting on the pavement. Hey everyone, welcome back to this video. So, um, this video, uh, I just created a text editor app okay so it's a text editor app as you can see uh, obviously it might be looking small for you but I just created a text editor app or a code editor I called it a code editor because I could do a kind of a coding in there now Godot have a very nice powerful engine Godot is a powerful engine which can create a text editor or code editor also so you can write your code over here so I have created this code editor in my Godot journey obviously so you can also go ahead and create it by yourself I won't be showing you how to create it in this video I, I will be just showing you uh, what are the features which I have implemented in this one okay so um, obviously I have used a specific type of font over here and I have scenes over here and my icons and this one is the main scene where uh, I have used uh, what do we call this one text edit okay. text edit I have used text edit and I have ticked some of its things which are uh, its own capabilities given by Godot so that's that's pretty amazing because if you see in a text editor of Godot then like this one it also has its syntax highlighting all of the things so text editors are based on Godot so it is mainly based on Godot okay so let me just launch it and just show you how it is looking so let's launch it so obviously it will show you Godot game engine now this is our text editor obviously it doesn't look like a uh, modern editor like VS Code or something like that and uh, I like I have placed here file over here and a little help section right over here I want to put other things like edit and fonts also for managing fonts obviously and for managing file types also I will be doing it in future obviously this is version 1 so let me just show you uh, in the help section when you click help you will get about and when you click on about send book code digital version 1.0 it's a version 1.0 so it has lots of bugs obviously it it is not even complete I can just say like that but you can obviously use it to write code and it has send book credits in YouTube so uh, uh, guys I just changed my name from modern programmer to send book credits obviously I, I like this name more often and this is my main color so I just place the color same color over here and it's looking nice obviously uh, this is a code editor now you can obviously type code over here and as you can see I have a stylish font over here and I don't know I, I'm in love with this font so I can just write print and like uh, hello and I have given it specific colors as you can see uh, specific colors which makes it look like a uh, nice code editor so obviously you can hit that indent thing also and it will show you that small thing now if you keep on typing code likewise in godot it will show a little mini map over here okay so a little mini map over here i'm i think in obvious it is not clear because all the thing is black because we like black code editors i just made it completely black i could make it gray but it was looking a little bit uh, weird so yeah so what um, it is giving us and code editor and my icon over here so what I will go is file now in file we have uh, four options for now you can create a new file when you hit a new file it will create a new file obviously this is a new file now if you type here something and create click on new file then it will uh, create a new file obviously it won't be saving it automatically so you have to save it obviously so um print let, let's write a python program okay hello something like that now uh, you can obviously go into file and save or save as anything you want I will go in save so um, I don't know where should I be going so it's in my resource folder because uh, right now I'm creating in a resource folder uh, python let me just name it as a python and I just created a folder in my resource obviously I could go back but uh, I am running it in Godot I am not running it externally or I, I haven't exported this 
project yet so uh, okay it is showing me python over here now it has file now i could give it a file like hello and over here i have all of the extensions which we need dot py dot c dot html javascript php jar and um, gd script uh, c++ css and text files so i think i would put more over here but uh, for now let's go with python so obviously oh it's creating a problem over here which i need to obviously solve so yeah hello.py and what i will do is hit ok so um, open in file manager and inside my python as you can see i have got my hello.py now if i open it it's taking a little bit time to load now obviously it opened uh, my python program in visual studio code and as you can see visual studio code also does have the same type of minimap and same types of features so yeah it's not a quite a big difference i think so so i wrote code over here and now i could see it in visual studio also so uh instead of that let's run this program okay open with and what i will do is go into uh, open with python so it just closes it itself so what we need over here is we need to get an input so x equals to input input and i will just give it like that and file and save it now i can just save it and right click this one open with python and as you can see it is uh, displaying our hello now our code editor is obviously working so i think we should integrate the run function inside the code editor because we don't want to come out of code editor and just run it manually by clicking right clicking it every time so we can uh, work on that so yeah <clears throat> Obviously, you can now uh, do a lot of coding. Now, obviously, uh, you can close this one. So, I just closed it. Now, you can obviously open that file also. So, if I run this one. Okay. So, it has created a new file. So, file and open file. Inside Python, I have hello uh, the pi. So, yeah. Now, I can obviously open it and uh, start coding again. So I don't have any type of auto completion like in more than things. So you have to <coughs> write each and every code by yourself. And <coughs> how is this, guys? I just highlighted the if keyword by uh, red color. So it, it's weird. Obviously, it looks weird. If x is equals to, um, let's change it into an integer. And if x is equals to 10 then print um you enter 10 i don't know why i'm writing these types of code so let me just go ahead and save it once again now this time it will again ask for that one so i will just click on that one and click okay so now i could right click it open with um, python obviously it won't be showing me anything because it will be very fast so what i have to do again is copy this thing because i am running it directly so i have to put an input at last now this time it just saves it automatically so let's run it once again okay so 10 and you have entered 10 and when you hit enter it just closes the format so yeah uh i i think godot is pretty powerful enough to create a modern type of software applications also and i was pretty sub surprised like i could actually create it in i think around two hours or less than two hours obviously uh, i just created it around two hours right now it's 12 28 i just finished it in 12 pm so yeah 
i hope you guys like this video if you like this video if you want to see much more gaming content programming content or any kind of uh, pixel art content or art type of content then you can subscribe to my youtube channel i don't have lots of subscriber i admit that mm, i have actually restart let me just check out how much subscribers i have right now mm. <clears throat> I have 229 subscriber and uh, my Godot videos are doing pretty well and I think you guys like this one so I have created this one uh, please share your thoughts in comments guys now if you want uh, a detailed video about these things then I could make one for you and I am thinking of making other things in Godot other type of software applications in Godot because I want to show you guys and everybody that Godot is capable of doing everything everything you can even create mobile apps with godot i will be showing you in one of the videos if you want that thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for the latest updates and please don't forget to hit that bell icon and uh, select all so you can get my updates pretty often thank you